this one's going to be on the compass grid feature. It's going to be a little bit different than what I did last time. Last time all we did was bind it to a hotkey and that was it. This time we're going to bind it to a button binding and a corner and that's how we will tile it. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about, right? So let me open a window here. So we have this window and instead of using our hotkey, we can just use our mouse and if we want to tile it over here, uh, it will tile it here. Here, uh, up top, click there bottom corner this corner that corner that corner it doesn't really matter uh, for center I couldn't you know you can't bind it to any center so just double click on it if you want you know the center here so that's what we're gonna be doing okay uh, so bust out your uh, CCSM but for this example I'm gonna go back to uh, the default keys okay so let me show you the grid feature here and these are the default keys I set it back uh, for this example so the high keys for this is uh, control alt and one of the numbers okay on your um, numpad so that's the the one the right side of your keyboard uh, not to be confused with the numbers on top where it's uh, near your um, F keys you know F1 F2 or whatever <clears throat> so those are the keys that we're going to be using uh, and then you have to use this one the commands so go in here, we're going to type in these commands, not really that hard, but we're going to use that program that we learned last time, uh, what was that, the XTE. So XTE is basically just send, uh, you know, uh, key presses, okay. So we tell it XTE to hold uh, control, hold alt, and then press 1, 2, 3, or 4, 5, whatever, right. Uh, and uh, tell it to key up after we let go of the control, let go of the alt. And that's all you gotta do. Now you just uh, look for the corresponding um, command line one, command line two, whatever. And we're gonna bind that to a button binding. All right. So command line one. And here's the example that I have here that I bind it to. So that is the lower uh, left corner. And I clicked on that. If you, you have to click on it, and it's green, right? And then I used um, my right mouse button because that's not in use right now. And the right mouse button is uh, button three. Otherwise, you want to use the middle wheel. You can do that, or um, the left mouse is the button one. But three is the best because it's not really in use. And that's all you gotta do. Uh, you know, here you want to bind it here, here, here. Uh, not to be confused with if you push the uh, the left keys. Uh, I mean, your left button. It'll just do the scaling feature, right? But if you use the um, was it the right mouse button? It'll just tile it. So I thought it was appropriate for um, this plugin alone because this one is based on tiling, and you just go to the corner that you wanted to tile it to uh, instead of using your hotkey. I say it was more convenient for me, but if you like the keyboard, you can use the keyboard, and it's up to you. But uh, I like it like that. And to install the XTE, like I told you last time, was uh, you need to install the um, X Automation. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just watch that video on XTE, or I think I might call it X Automation or something like that. Here you go. That's the one you need to install. Okay. Make sure you install that if you want to do this. And that's it. That's all.